guys, how are you doing? Last episode we got to 87 LP in Gold 5. I had some issues with the recording of one game which I lost and dropped to 69 LP. That happened while trying to boost its quality but I ended up destroying the video. It, it was much worse than the standard one. Well, let's go to game 1. In this first game you get to watch me play Tarek. Because this is my smurf account, I don't have many supports and I mostly play Sorak or Tarek. But that is going to change, you'll see what I'm talking about. We had a good start, we got a kill over Kindred. Uh, she had to invade our jungle quite often to get her stacks, but we, we were ready and got a kill. Later she tried to do the same and get Grom from us, but we were aware and killed her again. There was one problem, Leblanc. She was getting really fed from killing Sana and we would soon have to deal with her. To be honest, Sana was terrible. She didn't even start with the Doran's ring and you know how mana hungry Sana is. She started with an amplifying dome, which is in my opinion a terrible starting item, at least for a Sana. Things started going south we got ganked bots and Sona was still dying to LeBlanc. We got a pick or two, but at the same time people were dying on the other side of the map. map. Every fight we won, we lost another at the same time somewhere else. You, you had just seen Kindred double killing two guys, and then Sona died, and well, we lost the game and I was down 17 LP. In this game I play Soraka and I had a pretty good start. Jarvan and Malphite came bot and we killed their bot lane easily because of their enormous amount of crowd control. One thing about the game that I have already learned and that I constantly, but constantly forget. If you're squishy, don't roam without wards. Eventually some stupid champ will suppress you and you'll give a free kill. Just don't do it. Well, at least I made Warwick's flash, yay, so proud of myself. Jarvan was our best player this game. He was always around and got a lot of kills through the game. He had a really good comp with lots of CC and damage. We should have stomped them. But yeah, Syndra wasn't good and the rest of the team made some major mistakes at cost us. And like us, they were taking objectives and what they sacrificed to do it. They kind of compensated by global gold and other peaks on the other side of the map. That was costing us a lot. We didn't ward our jungle enough. I blame myself for that, to be honest, I don't expect gold players to use wards. At least 80% of them forget they have trinkets sent to buy things. Because I failed, I got killed. They began sieging inner bot tower and tried to kill Kate, who got really low. I won't take credit for that because my job was to save her. I would be a terrible Sorak if I couldn't tell her through it. Then Jarvan came and landed an, landed an awesome ulti. Killing two of them and then we chased after Nautil, it took some time but Jarvan managed to kill him. Oh, eh, and Syndra died again. Nothing new there. Again, we chased them and Jarvan lands a phenomenal ultimate. We synergize as well with my Salus because they can't flash out so or use any spells and we get two kills. Team fights were really going our way but they were hard to fight because they had a good combo with Nautil's and Yasuo's ultimate. They almost kill us, but Jarvan save us yet again, killing one and giving us time to run. He then decided to go in again, Kate died, but we got Nautilus and Jinx for that, which was a good trade, until seconds later Jarvan died too, but it was a good fight overall, Cinder wasn't even there to help us. The big turn of events was at Baron, they turned to engage Jarvan with Yasuo landing his ulti on J4. But he was able to escape, but I wasn't, I'm very squishy. If I'm not on the backline, I'm already dead. Shortly after, Yasuo finds Kate and uses his ulti on her. He 
eventually getting your kills and then healing Jarvan. It was really well played by Yazon because they had burned up, they destroyed our base, I dropped 18 LP, with which left me with only 33. Now you get to see me play Morgana. I bet before this you were almost ready to unsub unsubscribe my channel. Oh my god, he only plays the same fucking champions. He wants to watch the Rock game play? Jeez, and not in my pants. I enjoyed this match. I won't say how it ended, but it was fun to play. Morgana is a super cool champion if you land your binds. If you land them. Don't be like me. Not much happened before we got to level 6. Draven got a kill on Sivir, but we got 2 back and later we killed Timo again. Side note, who the fuck picks Timo support? It was fun and games until they started ganging us. They killed us both and at least Draven didn't get the kills. Later, Pantheon decides to use ulti to gank bots, he couldn't kill Draven but I knew Timo had to be invisible, I popped my trinket, we found him, and we ended up killing him. Pantheon was inside the enemy's jungle fighting Qin Zhao. He got him really low and Zack slingshotted himself and killed Sin. Then Jax and Katarina went in to try and fight us, they got a decent engage on Pantheon and Jax, but me and Sivir were nearby. But Draven got there, double killed us. Well, it wasn't much. I know it, I don't know if it was a good idea to bind him, I think that made me lose precious time. But well, no problem. I believe playing as jungler is the best way to climb the ladder. A good gank early game can completely make a game going in your favor. This Zack, for example, was good and got himself fed and fed others. We started this fight with Aaron. It was him who turned it in our favor. I got killed, but in return, we got four of them. Everyone will set it as a good trade. Wanna know why I'm still gold? gold? You saw that bind? Yeah, it sucked. And you know what happens next. I was kinda carried this game. I know that, but still, it wasn't one of my worst games. Later, we get a fight inside the enemy's jungle. Pantheon died early because he didn't have much resistances or HP. But Zack turns it around, kills Katarina. I used ulti and managed to kill Jax and Timo before dying to Draven. My Zonia wasn't built yet. Yeah. Soon after reviving, we destroy Baron and push into the enemy base. We get an enemy inhibitor, and I got followed by Shin Zhao. I flash. I eventually got killed, but we trade one for one and eventually got the rest and won the game. I won 20 points, now I have 53. I thought, well, I won with Morgana, let's do it again. I thought it would be easy to go 2 versus 2 against the Nash and the Lulu. Our damage was higher and I had Black Shield to counter Lulu's spells. At first we kind of succeeded, we got a kill on Lulu. I finally hit the bind and use pull, Jinx to use her chompers and there was nothing she could do. Later Jack comes and King Plank uses his ulti and we get another kill. Lane had to be over, right? Wrong! I made a big mistake, I got killed really easily and then Jinx got killed too. We failed yet again when Ash shoots an ultimate into Jinx's face and almost killed her. But Echo started casting teleport and instead of killing me, they started running away. I thought it was wrong from them. Instead, Game Plank got bot 2 and used the barrel to kill Lulu. He then sent Ash back to her base, dead. We go inside the enemy jungle, Jax engages, Jinx kills. He continues after Amumu. I get a bind on Namibia and kill her. Later we go for an extended fight. They are able to escape, almost killed Echo, but he used his ultimate and got back, but he was bound by Amumu's ultimate to kill them. And ultimate Amumu eventually falls. We then proceeded the fight and killed two more, but we couldn't kill Nazis and Dash, so 3 for 3, could be worse. We then went for Baron, 
and the game was almost over. We got another team fight. It was easy. I was able to use my ultimate and stun them. Ek was <laughs> destroying their backline. Amumu was doing nothing. Echo got himself a triple kill and we won. And I got another 20 LP. Yay! Guys, thank you for watching again. If you enjoyed it, well, give a like, it helps us a lot. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I want to give a special thanks to the 9 gag community. Well, I got a lot of subscribers and it helps me. I get higher on the search lists and eventually the channel will get more subscribers. So thank you all. Thank you for helping me and I hope I can repay you in the future. Thanks guys. See you next week.